With nearly a month away, I decided to do a highlight video on what I thought was going to be the most important features of the Wii U. And actually, I want to go a little further than that. I, I'm, I want to make an announcement. My prediction. I believe the Wii U will be one of the greatest selling video game consoles of all time. Those are lofty things. Those are lofty goals that I just announced. Yes, they are. And you're probably going, what is this based on? There's no way. You're crazy. That's an impossible thing to do. Bear with me. Walk with me through this journey. We're going to go real fast, and I'm, you're going to hear me talking a little faster than I normally do, because I want to make this video short. I don't want it to be too long. All right. Let's go. What we learned from the previous generation is one thing. To, for a console to be ultimately successful, you have to bring in additional revenue from different demographic groups. All three platforms tried in various ways to do that. Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft all tried in their own way. Well, the one thing that was established is there is potential for the platform to grow when you are able to succeed in that matter. So, what we know is the Wii U must bring something to the table that will invite just about anyone, gamer, casual gamer, or non-gamer, to want to use this device, right? For this platform to be successful, it must have something for everyone, not just gamers. Now, a lot of people don't agree with the fact that a console has an expectation to be more than just a video game machine, but in reality, that's what it is. A video game machine was designed to play video games first and foremost, but it must, in the age of 2012, have additional features and functionality that makes it expandable to other areas of media. It's a must. So let's get going. Why do I think the Wii U will be the greatest selling console of all time or one of the best selling? Simple. Why? Nintendo TV. Ah, you know, I hear everyone now. What? What are you talking about? That crappy software? If you are underestimating the importance or the significance of what Nintendo was attempting to do with this software, you, my friend, need to pull your head out of the sand. Let me explain this to you. For those of you who didn't really understand nor appreciate what this move signifies. Now, if you are Microsoft and if you are Sony, Microsoft, let's start with them first. They did an excellent job in their own way of solving this dilemma. And you know what Microsoft's solution was? Pull different components of the different forms of media that are currently existence and that are currently popular and incorporate that into the Xbox Live experience. That was the route Microsoft went. Sony tried their own route, various forms. None of them really were that successful. Therefore, to be honest, they don't even really, they don't even need me to even bring them up. They were, they were so irrelevant. And that's not me being a fanboy, but they failed in that avenue. Microsoft was by far the superior console for more than just gaming. Now, what the Wii U Nintendo TV is attempting to do is something that has yet to ever be done before. Let me say that again. What Nintendo is doing with Nintendo TV has never been done before with any device. I hope it's starting to sink in now. I hope you guys are actually starting to get a, a an understanding the bells are going off. And if it's not, we're going to go deeper into this and we're going to do it real fast. Okay. The 10 foot space. Okay, for those of you who don't know what the 10-foot space is often referred to is, it is the space that is known as the living room. Bill Gates, Steve Jobs often talked about this space and how the component, the piece of hardware that is able to manage and control all of the different components that exist within a person's media center is the king of the 10-foot space. Now, up to this point in time, there's nothing but fragmentation in the 10-foot space. You may try to solve this problem by using different forms of universal remotes, but none of these things at all give you what most people want. And you want to know what that is? The ability to control content and media from one central device. Integrate it nicely into a small form factor box. I'm not talking about a multimedia PC. I'm talking about integration into a small form factor 
that fits and is designed to be in the living room space. No one has been successful with this. Nobody. Nintendo is attempting to do something that has never been done before, which is integrate cable, online multimedia, and gaming into one device. Are you guys starting to understand the significance of this now? You see, for the gaming genre to survive, and yes, I do say survive with stiff competition coming from various forms of hardware, it must provide an ultimate experience that is easy to config, easy to navigate through, and easy to enjoy the experience while performing these things. The Wii U was attempting to revolutionize everything. Apple wanted to do the very thing that the Nintendo Wii U is attempting to do right now. You could safely say Nintendo was stole Apple's thunder by doing this right now. The ideal of controller all of your content with one centralized device to watch a show and have various methods and ways to watch a show from the 10 foot space is difficult to come by. It's difficult to do. Nintendo was giving you a way to do that as well as social interaction. For all the advances that smart televisions have come up with, their interface is still rather clunky and unreliable and unrefined as far as being able to navigate through controls, guides, while looking for content, and at the same time not distract you from the main thing that you were searching for in the first place or the original content that you were viewing. The Nintendo Wii U will be able to solve that problem. If the software does in fact work, you will see a brand new demographic that becomes, and they're not worthy of being called casual gamers, they are going to be what you would consider tech heads or various other people who just want a device to navigate and control all of their entertainment needs. People often wonder what was the original Nintendo Wii U, the, the, the simple version created for this, ladies and gentlemen, is what it was created for. To be the ultimate navigation device and box for the household. To make everything simple, but yet fun. More to come on this subject. Part 2 later on.